Hi there, welcome to the Future Is Now, a national collaborative event. I'm Nick Kanozik, Chair of the Instrumental Music Department at Oakland School for the Arts. And I'm David Harrington, violinist and founder of the Kronos Quartet. This show today is not so much a concert, but a document of a collaboration across the United States during a pandemic. Myself and five other music directors came together to present a remote version of 50 for the Future. And 50 for the Future is something Kronos has been working on for many years now, and we've had all sorts of collaborators from Carnegie Hall to individuals and music festivals, and we've had a whole lot of help putting this together. And some of the most fun we've ever had is working with young players, younger than us, the, the next generation of string quartet players. And 50 for the Future is a library that's free day or night. You know, you don't have to wait for it to open up. It's always open. And um, the music, the scores, the parts, our recordings, they're available to learn from, to hopefully be inspired by. And we cannot wait to play Marihada by Angelica Negron with all of these young musicians later on. Today you'll see six pieces from the catalog, uh, the last of which is Marihada, which will perform live along with students across the nation. Um, it's just been such a wonderful project working with 50 for the Future, Kronos, and all the music directors. I really want to thank all the directors themselves, uh, Alex from the Ohlone School in Honolulu, Michael from Booker T. Washington High School for the Performing and Visual Arts in Dallas, Tristan from Ruth Asawa School for the Arts, ha Hattie from Face the Music at the Kaufman Center in New York City, and Heather from Duke Ellington School for the Arts in Washington, D.C. Thank you so much, everybody, and we're looking forward to hearing from you all. Hi, we're Oakland School for the Arts. Hi, we're San Francisco Ruth Asawa School of the Arts. They will play second movement of my composition, Chebiat, Dance. Yay! Yay! Yay.
Daniel Lewis, I play first violin. I'm Noel Palmer, I play second violin. Hi, I'm Taylor Solomon, I play viola. I'm Lily Schultz, and I play cello. The piece that we're playing for you today is As the Purchase is Often by Rihanna Giddings. The piece itself describes the emotions tied to a woman and her child during the slavery period. This piece was originally composed for voice, bass, and banjo. We're so happy to be working on this project for Keep of the Future with the Chronos Quartet, and we hope you enjoy. Hi there, my name is Alasia Bobo. Um, I'm a cellist located in Oakland. We thought we'd um, pause from the music for a minute to directly hear from some students. 
I have some questions. And the first question is, what role has music played in your life during the pandemic? I've had to rethink how I go about practicing and how I go about what I would normally do since we're in a time that just is completely different than anything we've really experienced before. But it's also been really useful creative outlet and listening to music has been incredibly helpful with dealing with having to be stuck at home all the time. Um, we don't have this experience of performing all together at one stage, breathing together and looking at each other. But I think many of us were able to still record using technology that we have right now in 21st century. And it is just something that I think keeps us inspired. Even though it might be difficult at this time, I continue to be inspired to play music because there still are a lot of opportunities and projects that we can do. And even though we don't play music the same way that we did before, it's very unique this way. And it gives us the chance to do things that we couldn't do before, like collaborate with people across the country. My name is Moshe and I play the violin. My name is Teddy and I play the viola. My name is Felix and I play the cello. I'm Olga and I play the violin. And we are musicians from Face the Music. It's an organization based in New York City. And here we have the composer of the Nock. Hi. Hi, I'm Joan Chaverno. I'm a cellist. I was cellist with Kronos for many years and then turned to composer. Um, so I've written this piece, Knock, as a string quartet for learning about different kinds of sounds and opening up your ears to all the different kinds of sounds that string quartet can produce.
Honolulu, Hawaii. My name is Timmy Ignacio, and this is Aubrey Danko, and we are proud members of the Iolani Orchestra and Chamber Music Program. We are thrilled to present our performance of Polo Midi by Colombian composer Mario Galeano. We want to thank the Kronos Quartet, our director, Mr. Alexander Pena, and everyone who helped put this project together. We hope you enjoy our performance. Mahalo. Mahalo.
what is it like to be able to meet and work with 50 for the Future composers? Working with the composers has been a really inspiring and unique opportunity. And because of uh, the pandemic, we actually get to work with them and, and almost face to face and really have them delve into their works and tell us how their pieces were, were built, uh, their ideas, their inspirations, and how we as musicians uh, represent that work. What aspects of the 50 for the Future project have you enjoyed the most? One aspect that I enjoyed the most um, was the collaborativeness. Um, just the fact that we get to work with musicians or strangers from all over the the country is just really cool and inspiring, um, especially with working with the Kronos Quartet. I think this is such a, a unique opportunity um, and I'm really grateful for it. I think it's great having works from all over the world that we as students can have the scores to, all the parts, recordings, and special um, videos of the composers. So I think that's a really nice aspect about it. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching The Future is Now. Hello, everybody. I just wanted to talk about three things while introducing our piece. Number one, I want to say thank you and congratulations to all the students and all the teachers nationwide who have worked together to make this project happen. I think it's really cool, and I uh, these are not easy pieces, so, so give yourselves a pat on the back and congratulations. Second off, uh, I'd like to just talk about our learning environment this year. We've been hybrid since October. So we have students who are at home and we have students who are on campus. Just to sort of level the playing field and make it equal for everybody, we have decided to present a virtual performance for you today. So we hope you enjoy. Uh, third and finally, um, this piece is sort of a living piece that invites audience participation. Uh, so one thing that we've done to sort of account for not having a live audience is uh, we've recruited help from our dance conservatory, uh, which they've really risen to the challenge and provided some body percussion and some excellent dance solo and ensemble pieces for us. Um, so thank you to them. And if the spirit should compel you to act like a live audience member and uh, you know, sing or hum or dance or tap your, you know, tap your leg or clap or stomp. Feel free, please. We hope this music moves you in some sort of way. Thank you very much.
Hola, my name is Angelica Negron, and I'm the composer for Marejada, which I wrote last year for Kronos Quartet to perform live together through a video communications platform. 
This piece is inspired by the pixelated landscapes of artist Justin Favela. And you can also see this um, in my background right now, his beautiful artwork. And it's also inspired by the desire to escape to a place that feels and also sounds like home. I hope you enjoy this special performance today by Kronos, along with some very special friends. Thank you. 
Students, I want to give us a wave and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Thank you so much. <laughs>